Well, this past weekend in Duluth, thousands of folks looked to the sky at the annual Duluth Air Show. A highlight this year was not one, but three female pilots who stole the show. Producer Megan McGarvey talked with these pilots about why exhibitions like this are so important to the future of aviation. We're the F-35A demonstration team uh, flying the Lightning II here today. So we're flying a, about a 15 minute single ship demonstration of aerial you know, aerobatics. Uh, so high speed, slow speed passes, uh, aileron rolls, loops, all that good stuff. Uh, I grew up an Air Force military brat, so moved around the country, watched my dad was a fighter pilot as well. So, um, but kind of was dad's job and didn't really get interested in aviation until college. Uh, so joined ROTC and then 11 years later, here I am. Uh, I tell people it's kind of like flying a roller coaster. Um, it, you know, we can go 0.95 Mach, which is about 700 miles an hour in the air show. Uh, the max speed is 1.6 Mach, so 1.6 times the speed of sound. Um, it can pull 9 Gs, so 9 times the force of gravity. So uh, very powerful, but very maneuverable. Um, but uh, it's about 15 minutes of just raging your face off at an air show, which is awesome. My role here at the Duluth Air Show is I am a solo high performance aerobatic performer. My favorite maneuver is always the torque roll. <laughs> what I do is I pull to the vertical and you run out of airspeed so there's no airflow over your wings or tail. My propeller turns in my perspective to the right and so the airplane only has the choice to turn to the left at that point when I'm vertical and out of airspeed because I have no flight controls and I'm, I end up flying backwards rotating around the torque of the engine flying it backwards and as, soon, as with the little bit of control I have over my tail, I try and keep it straight to try and back it up as long as I possibly can. I call it, it's kind of like balancing on your head on a bowling ball. <laughs> so it's a super fun maneuver and it's right in the middle of my act and it, you'll get to see it. It's super fun. My dad was actually a pilot and uh, a corporate pilot. However, he passed away when I was seven years old in an airplane accident. So I was actually afraid to fly for a while. However, um, everyone always told me how much he loved it, and I just started getting real interested in what he loved so much about it, and then also uh, curious about how it all works. How does that flying thing work? And so I went to college uh, after that, and so really it was my dad who inspired me. Even though he passed away in an aircraft, I luckily was able to use the interest and um, connection with his love for it to really overcome the fear and, and go out and do it. I feel like it's where I'm meant to be when I'm up there flying. It's just like the airplane is an extension of me and it's, um, it puts everything else in perspective. Being from Minnesota, obviously we don't have a huge military presence, and I'm from Stillwater, Minnesota, so an even smaller um, military presence. Astronauts actually came to my school in second grade, and one of them was a fighter pilot. So eight-year-old me went home to my mother, and I was like, Mom, I want to be a fighter pilot. And she's like, excuse me, I don't know how you know those words. Um, and it just really sucked. After high school, I went to the University of St. Thomas and did ROTC through there um, in Detachment 410. I commissioned out of ROTC and then I was a pipeline pilot. It is my first air show in Duluth. This was my first time flying in Minnesota. So this is obviously really near and dear to my heart because if someone wouldn't have been a fighter pilot and inspired me at eight years old, I don't know where I would be right now, but um, this was my dream. And if I can inspire someone or recruit or retain or inspire anyone um, at an air show, then we're definitely doing our job and then we're recruiting for the next generation. If you ask probably half of fighter pilots, they got interested in aviation or wanted to be a fighter pilot since they were a kid because they went to an air show. Uh, I mean, my safety pilot that I brought kid over here is from Duluth. Uh, he grew up coming to this air show and that's how, like, why he wanted to be a fighter pilot. These kind of events are so important, especially after COVID, you know, and, and, and the things that we're going through these days, we need more events that inspire us and keep our inner fire going and let us know that there are better days ahead and there's still great things that this that are in this world and that we can do.